Your legs are. Your hands are. Your back's are. Your eyes are. All right, so what are we talking about this month? Bullying. All right. So we're going to um, recap a little bit. So we talked about some specific things. So in order for it to be bullying, there really need to be two components. Luke? Very good, Luke. So we're repetitive and intentional. So um, if somebody just, you know, if they look at you funny one time, does that make them a bully? No way, sir. No way, sir. No way, sir. All right. So, um, if someone you know, could be bullying, if, if that mean look and that intimidation, those are repetitive things happening all the time. Yes? All right. So, um, it's different types of bullying. Uh, it could be verbal. It could be kind of trying to humiliate you in public. Uh, it could be cyberbullying. There's things like that. And then, of course, it could be physical stuff. They're trying to push you, trick you, uh, or hit you in some way. Yes? What are you going to say, guys? Uh-oh, that's not good. That's definitely not, that, that would definitely be bullying behavior. So um, so let's talk about what you shouldn't do when you see others being bullied. Um, first, if you see someone being teased or bullied, is it okay to join in? No way, no way. Say, no way, sir. No way, sir. All right, student creed number three, you know, absolutely, you're never, ever join in and encourage boys in what they're doing. Yes? All right. We'd be surprised sometimes just the group crowd dynamic. Sometimes people that will join in on some really bad things. We want to fight that as students of martial arts. Yes? yes All right. So if you see someone being teased or boys, is it okay to just stand there and watch? No. no. What about getting out your phone and getting it on video? No. All right. No. So you're not okay to stand there watching. Watching kind of gives boys power. They like people seeing what they're doing. Yes? yes All right. Is it okay to just pretend you didn't see it? Just like, oh, man. No. All right, so we want to, there's a difference between a bystander, which we don't want to be, and an upstander, which we're going to encourage you to be this month. Yes? All right, so we want to talk about some things that we can do if we see bullying going on. All right, one thing that we can do if we see bullying start to happen is if we can get there first. So let's say that uh, Tyler is up. And let's say Sam is a potential boy. And Sam's walking, walking towards Tyler, and I think someone's going, hey guys, uh, you know, hey, you know, let's go over here, let's go this way. You know, let's, let's, uh, let's go get another week. Let's go So I can maybe intercept, get there, so that Sam doesn't feel comfortable. You know, I may use you guys again in a second. All right, all right. So I can get there first. Yes? All right. Next thing I can do is step in and take charge. So let's see, I, I see it going. It's going down. Sam is mouthing at me, he's saying me and stuff. Hey, um, uh, Sam, you know, the way you're acting, the stuff you're saying, that sounds like you're going to avoid it. I don't think that's cool. Can you cut that out, man? Yeah. All right, cool. Let me see. All right. So I, I see leaders in this room. Thank you, sir. You guys can, you, I'm going to read you one more time, right? Um, step in and take charge. I see leaders in this room, people that don't have a problem being verbal. You feel comfortable with that. Step in and take charge. Kind of stop it in its tracks. Yes? Sir, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Um, the third thing is distract and redirect. So let's have one more time, guys. I'm jumping in one, one more time. So it's kind of starting to happen. I see stuff going on. Maybe he's like, hey, man, did you see that over there? And that's crazy. You know, oh. I just kind of see that over there. <laughs> this all right. All right. So, oh, all right. the splash is yummy. So, all right, so I kind of distracted him. I go ahead and focus on something else, all right? And uh, all right, so that's something else. Um, and then the last thing is very important. If you're not in a position to help in some way, leave and report. So go and tell a responsible adult at school that would be you. A teacher. A teacher or another school. faculty member. Yes? Yes, sir. So, um, so I want to encourage you to review that. One, get there first. Yes? Yes, sir. Two, step in and take charge. That's another thing we can do. Three, distract and redirect. Try to get them distracted and moving on from what they're doing. And then the fourth is lead and report. So we're gonna encourage you guys to really take this seriously. Sometimes, you know, good people sit there and just watch bad stuff happen just because they're shocked by it. They don't know what to do. They're afraid of getting in trouble. They're afraid of being bullied themselves. But if you decide in advance the type of person that you wanna be, um, and then you're prepared and you see it happen, and you've already made the decision, I'm gonna be the type of person that's an upstander. Yes? Yes, sir. Right, everybody up in the yes, sir. We're gonna yes, sir. do we're gonna do the anti-bullying pledge. 
So everyone say, repeat after me. I believe everyone has the right to feel safe. I believe everyone has the right to feel safe. I will stand strong against bullying. I will stand strong against bullying. I will treat others with respect and kindness. I will treat others with respect and kindness. I will not be a bully. I will not be a bully. I will not be a bystander. I will not be a bystander. I will help others who are being bullied. I will help others who are being bullied. I will tell a teacher and a parent. I will tell a teacher and a parent. When I see it or when it happens to me. When I see it or when it happens to me. I will not stand by, I will stand up. I will not stand by, I will stand up.